I was asked the question how to set a press, that there might be some sort of secret to it uh, for etching. I'll show you how I set this press and then we might look at some other presses because they're not all the same. Uh, this is probably my favourite press and I like it because I set it by feel. You can sort of feel when it's right. Before we go, I'm going to give you a little example. I want you to imagine <clears throat> Imagine this roll of paper here is a big, thick, heavy lump of steel, really heavy. Now, if I was to lift it like that, just imagine it's really heavy and I'm straining. There's a lot of strain there, and so there's a lot of tension in my arms. When I rest it on the blanket there, I'm relaxed. There's no tension at all. And then when I press down like that, again, tension. So there's sort of three stages that uh, your press goes through when you're setting the press. So let's have a look at the press now. So if I wind up, so rollers like that. Right now, these big threads, these screws are holding it up. And when you wind back, you feel there's a bit of pressure there. If I wind them sort of at the same time, down, gets to a point where it hits the blanket, and when it hits that blanket, almost there, still feel the pressure, there, it goes loose, so this one, loose, so that's the bit where it's just resting on the blanket, so there's now no pressure on this thread to pull it up, we're now going to put pressure to push it down. So when I set the press, I put the plate underneath there, whether it's a thick plate, a thin plate, a color graph plate, and I just wind it down until it gets to that, just that really loose, you sort of see there it starts gaining again, you can almost throw it like that. Okay. Now I usually give it um, probably three quarters of a turn. Uh, if you've got a press similar to that, it might be half a turn. And then that is set right for printing. What I like to do is I like to bring it back to that, that stage. I leave the press like that when I'm not using it. Maybe because I feel sorry for it. Let's have a look at another press. So here's a tabletop press. What I tend to do with this one is I even it up as much as I can uh, until I can sort of see that just indents the blanket slightly and then I give it a couple of turns. It also has uh, like a ruler either side. The reason I do that and I don't do it the same is because it's got a counter spring lifting it up. I'll show you on this side. So you can see here there's a thick spring here which is pushing that up and so you have to push down to counteract that spring. And so at the end of the day when I finish printing with this one what I tend to do is just lift it up and the higher you lift this roller, the easier these things are to turn because the spring's pushing it up. And so make sure it just clears the blanket so you can turn it like that. That's how I leave that one at rest. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you've got any other questions about printmaking, I'm not the wealth of all knowledge, but I'd give it a go at answering it the best of my knowledge. Uh, so yeah, just drop a comment below and let us know what questions you might want to answer about printmaking. If I can, I'll answer it. If not, I'll research it. Catch you next time.